This is Goo for You, aka Parker's tutorial on how to set up your Pinnacle capture card. Um, what you're going to need is your capture card power cord right there, the Pinnacle capture studio thing, and this is what it came with, which is your AV cables and memory stick for transporting onto. If you want to use this, you could also just put it on your PSP or anything that you can transfer it to while you're recording. This is what your memory stick is going to be. This is what all your like saved info is going to go to. Then you're going to need three splitter cables. You can get these at Radio Shack. I got all three of these for like $15. I mean, you could probably find them cheaper somewhere. But I was in a jam to get these, so this is what I have. First, take your capture card pinnacle and then you're going to want to hook up the splitter cables it doesn't really matter which ones they go into because they're multi whatever alright so it should look like that kind of messy but it, it gets the job done. Now you're gonna take these cables and hook there them into go. here. You want to make sure that you have these colors matched up in here to this or it won't work so just unplug the AVs again and then check to make sure you got them lined up. Next take your power cable which is right here for me and you plug it in to the far right one. I just yeah. did right there. Now again, this is gonna be messy, and I haven't found a different way to do it, or it's not as messy with all the wires. But this is just the way that I've done it. So you take these your Xbox cables. Now I can't see the TV anymore, but it's not a big deal. And you're gonna to want to line up these cables to the same split as you had before. Right, there you go. Running to the Xbox. Now take your the ones that came with the pinnacle, those AV card uh, cords. Now just line it up. Bam! TV on. Right sound and left sound. All right. So now everything's hooked up. Capture cards all ready to go. It's messy still, but like I said, gets the job done. Take your memory stick or your PSP, USB or whatever, whatever you have, and plug that into, ta-da, there it is. Everything's on, plugged in, good to go. So now, everything's hooked up. All the wires are going to the right ports. TV's on, turn it on. All right, it's on, I want see I don't really care about quality or anything since it's a test run push record and now it's recording my dashboard now you want to take your memory stick with your new file and everything and you want to put it on the computer and there you go open folder your files sure video now I have a couple of videos on here Let's do, well, actually I can't even watch it right now because it's not the right setup for Windows P or computer, so I got to go to, oh, cool, spam, nice, all right, go to AVS, which is what I use, I use AVS Converter 6, let me bring that up, here it is, you want to set it to AVI, browse, these are the videos right here that you want to change. I'll do three. Now, convert now. You can get a free trial for this, but with a free trial, it's got like a tiny little box about that big right there with the mouse. And it's in the middle of the video, and it says purchase full to get blah, 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 you know? And you don't want to have that there in your, your machinima or your gameplay footage or anything like that. So I recommend buying the full one like I did. 
it costs kind of it's kind of expensive but if you're gonna really use it then I recommend doing it um, it's really quick great program there's also editing software oh, software in here too which I'm not gonna use because I have Windows Media Editor but you know it's up to you and this is the video I just made has sound and everything but there we go my headphones are in good quality um, good sound it's really great capture card and I recommend you get it if you ha have not got it it's much easier than trying to find a Dazzle, whatever, Platinum, the old version, when you could just use this one, which are very abundant, they sell them everywhere. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you, and you, you know, use it. Thanks.